I'm Phil Margolin. I'm the author of 14 New York Times bestsellers, including Fugitive, which will come out in paperback in February. My newest book is Supreme Justice, and that's a sequel to Executive Privilege, which raised the question, can a president of the United States be a serial killer? And in the new book, Brad Miller and Dana Cutler and all the other characters that were in Executive Privilege come back and Brad is now working at the U.S. Supreme Court as a clerk and he gets involved in a five-year-old case involving a ghost ship and uh, an attempt to uh, murder a U.S. Supreme Court justice. I wrote Wild Justice, which features Amanda and Frank Jaffe, a father and daughter criminal defense team, intending it to be a standalone. But I really liked the characters, so uh, I wrote Ties It Bind a couple of years later without any intention of having them in there, but it fit perfectly, so I've since brought them back in Ties It Bind, Proof Positive, and, and Fugitive. Same thing happened with uh, Executive Privilege. I wrote that without any intent to write a follow-up, but Brad Miller and Dana Cutler and the other people that are in it are such, uh, so much fun to work with that I brought them back in Supreme Justice. The inspiration for Supreme Justice was a real case that I handled years ago involving a ship that smuggled hashish into the United States. And there was some real questions about whether the government or some government intelligence agency was behind the smuggling attempt. I was a voracious reader as a kid, I still am, and I was in awe of writers. So I never ever thought that I would ever write a novel. And then. I tried writing a novel as a lark when I was in law school and really enjoyed it. Got a lucky break and uh, since then I've, I've really been enjoying writing. My advice to people who haven't gotten published yet but would like to is never write to get published. Do it as a hobby for fun and then if you get a lucky break and something good happens that's sort of icing on the cake.